The Strange World of Superstar Training, How Taylor Swift, Beyoncé, and Madonna Prepare for Their Performances. Being a pop star used to entail having a decent look and voice, as well as knowing a few dance routines. That is no longer acceptable at the top, as Taylor Swift reminded us last week when she disclosed her era's tour preparations. Every day, I would run on the treadmill, singing the entire set list out loud, she told Time magazine. Fast for fast songs, jog or walk fast for slow songs. Then I had three months of dancing training to get it into my bones. If you have seen Era's live, or watched it at the cinema, you will know why she had to put in the work. Part pop extravaganza, part endurance feat, it involves almost three hours of costume changes, vigorous dancing and sprints from one end of the stage to the other, all while belting out songs. As the color rises in Swift's face and the sweat gathers at her hairline, you start to feel tired yourself. Swift is not unique. Beyoncé's film Renaissance also documents the physical labor required for a tour, while 65-year-old Madonna's current celebration tour, which is due to conclude next April after 78 shows, makes clear how long that commitment can last. We treat them as athletes, what stress is going to be put on the body, says Dan Roberts, a personal trainer based in London. He is one of a handful of fitness professionals engaged in what he calls the weird world of celebrity training. Most often, it involves getting actors in shape for superhero roles. Some of his clients are on Broadway, on stage for two hours a night for six months at a time. But he also works with royalty and famous musicians. Non-disclosure agreements mean he can't name names, but he can speak generally. Sometimes, Roberts is flown out to support an artist mid-tour, but more often he liaises with other A-list trainers around the world to look after his regular clients. And he trains those who are passing through London. His first step is to assess the needs of the individual and their goals. Someone like Beyoncé, for example, has got very energetic dance routines, whereas Liam Gallagher can just stand there. Typically, the physical preparation for a tour starts three months in advance, says Roberts. Most stars are no strangers to exercise, and often present with old injuries. No one says, my body's great, Roberts says. You have to work around that. Another personal trainer, Jono Castano, who is based in Sydney, agrees. A lot of them know what they need to do, what to eat, how to train. It's about reminding them and keeping them accountable.